Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So here we'll try to see this command that is about the border command. We understood only one border that is all border, right? Now we'll try to go with some other things like what is bottom border. Quickly, I'll go through that. Okay, fine. So what I'll do uh, just for our understanding, I'll just copy few things from here. You can write whatever is uh, whatever you have. You don't have to copy what I'm copying here. Okay, you can write something. You take something from Google. You you select. I mean. I'm just writing some ready-made values what I have just pasting it here. So what I did yeah, let me explain you that. So let us say I want to, uh, you know, take something from some other sheet, Excel sheet. Okay. So what I did, I selected all these things and I used a command called as control C. So control C is for copy. Okay. If you want, I'll show it here. See control C is for copy where it is copy. Yeah. For copy, you have to say control C. And if you want to paste it some somewhere, you have to say control V. Okay instead of copying if you do cut that entire thing will be cut from this so i'll show you the difference so what i did i selected this i'll do it once again i selected this thing and i told Control c so it got copied now i'll come here i'll come to this sheet okay i have a different sheet here and now here i'll say Control v when you do Control v it will get pasted here so it got pasted but if you see the width and all it's not clearly visible now what you do you come here so this particular thing you come here and you drag it like this, something like this. You click here, you drag it like this. Now you can see everything is shown here, right? Everything is visible. So again, the small part from here, it is gone inside. It is hiding. Again, you drag it. So now everything looks good. So in this way, you try, to, you can try to copy something. Even if you want to copy something from Google, go to Google, whichever article you like. Let me do, let me show you in that as well. Yeah, so this is my profile in Udemy. So what I done, let us say I want to copy all these things. Okay, all these are my courses. If you're interested, you can go for other courses as well. Okay, fine. So what I've done, I copy these things. I'll say I'll select everything. Okay, I'll go with show more. I'll select everything like this. And I'll say control C. So the moment I say control C, it will get selected. You don't have to check. What I'll do is just select like this. Say control C, it will be copied. Now we come to Excel sheet like here. Okay, I'll paste it here. So let me paste control V. So you can see, but the problem is it has been pasted in this way. It's okay, not an issue. So you can see it has been pasted in this way. So in this way, you can copy anything from anywhere and you can try to paste it on your Excel sheet. But anyhow, for time being, I'll work on this part. Okay, this is understood. Yeah, the another option what I told is cut. So in the cut, what happens? For example, I'll select this. Now I'll say control X. So the moment I do control X, it will get cut from here and I'll let me see if it works out. I'm not sure. And let me paste it here. Control V. Yeah, it will work out. Okay. So I cut it from there and I pasted it here. So it has got pasted. But now if I go to the original sheet, what happens? No, it is not visible because I used an option called as cut. So cut in the sense, control X. So always whenever you want to add something, go for control C that is copy. You should go for this copy. Okay, in copy, what happens? I'll do it once again. Okay, this is not visible. Okay, I'll write here something. Say, control. Yeah, I'll write cut. I'll write copy. Okay, fine. So if you want to do copy, I'll select this. I'll say control C and I'll come here. I'll paste control V. So what has happened? Your original copy is also here. So this is a new copy or let us say duplicate copy. In, in case of cut, that is your cut option. If I say control X and if I paste it here, so it will get cut from here and it will be pasted here. So whenever you are trying to make use of this cut and copy, make sure what you exactly want to do. Always a copy is good. But if you want to cut something in that case, you can go with control X. Okay, great. So this is done. So this is what we have. Now we'll come to the border part. Now I'll just select everything. I'll say no border now. I'll say no border. Fine. So now let me go with one by one. So first I'll select everything now. So one by one, if you say bottom border, what will happen? Only the bottom border will come in the sides. No border will come again. You can select everything. If you go for the next one, that is top border. I'll, I'll go with the top border. So now what will happen? Your top border will come, but anyhow, I had clicked on bottom. So both are coming. So what I can do is I'll go with control Z. Yeah, fine. I'll select this. Now, if you come here, if you say top border, your only top border will come again. If I select everything. Next is left border. Only the left side you can see the border. 
Next, if I select this, if I go with the right border, only the right side border will come. But practically, very few times we use all these things. Usually what we do is we select everything. We come here and we say all border. This is what we usually do. If there is border by default and you want to remove the border, you select everything and say no border. Come here and say no border. There won't be any border. Now again, if I want to put border only in the outer side, only outer I want to put a border. I don't want the border inside. So in that case, you select this. Okay. Come here and you can see something called as outside border. Click on that. You can see only outside the border is coming. Inside you don't have a border like this. Similarly, you have one more option here. Select here. You can see something called as thick outside border. So now you can see the thickness of a border that has increased the width or yeah, the width of your border has increased. In the previous case, this was the thing that is outside border. So this is very thin line. This is a thick line. That, that is the only difference. Okay. So yeah. So next option I go with is thick. Next is bottom double border. So if you click on this and you can see in the bottom two borders are coming. So this we usually use whenever you want to say it's the end of a page or whenever you are doing something and you want uh, uh, something uh, to differentiate between one uh, para and the second para, you can go with the bot, uh, you can go with the double border. Okay. So that is, for example, let us say I've done certain Excel sheets here, right? So I'll go with this. So this is Excel sheet what I've done. Now I want to say this is the end, the kitchen portion after the kitchen portion, it is end. So what I'll do, I'll select like this and I'll go with a double border. Let me do that. I'll select this. I'll come here. I'll say bottom double border. So when you do that, you can see it's double border. That means it's the end of this particular uh, cells what you've done. So let us say something like this. I want to make this is the end of it. So I'll select like this and then I'll go here. So this will indicate that it is the end here. Okay. So this is the applications of that. But usually we don't go with all these things in most of the cases. For us, the normal outside border that is sufficient. Okay. Great. Yeah. So we'll go with the next part now. So once this is done, after that, what we have is, uh, yeah. In the same way, next we have thick bottom border. So this is a thick bottom border. Then again, you have a uh, same thing, top and bottom border, top and thick bottom border, but, uh, top and double bottom border. So just try to play with all these things. We'll be able to understand. It's very simple. Okay. Now there are a few cases where I want to draw a border on my own. So if I want to add a border, what I do, I select like this. I come here and I'll say all border. So here the border will be created. Now let us say I'll go with a different sheet now. Let us say I want to create a border on my own. So in that case, you can go with this draw border. So select on the draw border and now you get this pencil. So you just click like this. I mean, you can drag wherever you want. Let us say I want a border something like this. Finish. So here you get a border. Then again, if you want a border like this thing, you can create a border. So usually again, we don't go with this thing because it is time consuming and it is of not much importance. But since those options are there, I'm trying to explain you how it has to be done. So if you want to create a border only in this way, just select and drag. This is done. Suppose if you want to select a border only in this way, you can do that. Suppose here you want to select that border, do it like this. Suppose here you can do that. Okay. So in this way, you can try to draw your own border and you can see it will look good also. So same thing you can do with the other commands, but this is one of the easy command. Okay. Yeah. Other than that, draw border is done. Next is draw border grid. What is this draw? Okay. So draw border grid is something like this. I want a grid of three by three. So three by three. So this three and this three finish. So it's a three by three. So in this way also you can, if you want a border only in this much area, you can do that. So this is a, another way of doing it. See, if you don't want this way, you can always go with the normal one. That is a all border. So what you do is you just, instead of going like this, select only this much part, come here and say all border. So both are same. Only the thing is, this is an easy method. Here you yourself draw the border. Next, let us say I want to delete this border. Okay. So if I select here and if I say no border, whether it will go, it will go fine. No problem. Let us say I want to erase certain border out of this. In that case, what I'll do, I'll select this. I'll come here. There's one option called as erase border. And you can see a eraser has pop up. You just click like this. See. So with this, wherever you don't want a border, you can delete your border. Only in this part, I want to delete the border. Fine, done. You can see only this much area of border has been deleted. Now, if you want to make a thick border, again, you can see, you can play with all these things. I'm just making you people play. That's it. Select like this. Okay. Select like this and come here and say thick box, thick outside border. So you can see it will look something like this. 
then this part you can uh, you can try to erase also again i'll come here so i'll say erase border just click on this i think it should get erased yeah it will erase i guess okay no, everything okay okay that means complete thing will get yeah it will get erased see you just select here it will get erased okay yeah got it no? so in this way you can try to make use of this different co commands from here similarly yeah now you see by default what has happened all the borders whatever you are drawing they all are black in color let us say i want to draw a border which which i want in a different color so in that case what you do we come here there's one option called as line color and let us say i want all my border to be red in color so select your red color and now you can see all your borders are coming in red color so again if i come here if i okay i will just take it out i'll just select this part i'll come here this part and i'll say all borders so you can see everywhere it has come in red in color okay so now let us say i want to go for one more sheet and here i want my border to come in black color so what you are going to do now 